evening, folks. Welcome to the lowdown. My name's Peter. And I'm Mel. And uh, tonight, well, I've got, since Easter has been and gone and summer is well and truly on its way, I thought you will have still a few more Easter eggs to get rid of. And uh, remember that time you tried to get me going running? I do, and but you didn't. Exactly. Well, tonight, mister, it's boot camp time. Well, you did say summer's on the way. Look at this gorgeous weather. We've also got three things for you to do this weekend. Hopefully, the weather will hold out. But uh, you said boot camp. I did. Is this where we go and swap shoes in a flamboyant way? Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you know, we spend our life on industrial estates, don't we, around the region? Who said TV was glamorous? Oh, they're liars. <laughs> Not a made in tide and weir, I can assure you, but we're at a boot camp. Now, you've been doing this, haven't you, for I several have. weeks? Several weeks. I've lost count. I have actually And you look count. very good for it, I have well, to admit. Right, thank you. You have to Fiber. say that. <laughs> TV will be, it's in the contract, he has to say that. No, but tonight, I'm going to get you flipping tyres, I'm going to get you lifting weights, I'm going to put you to the test. I was going to say tyres, oh lovely, do you do a clutch as well, because my car's <laughs> falling to bits. Come on then, it's fitness time. So while Mel goes and gets herself all changed to do some workouts, I've been joined by the owner of It's Fitness, Phil. Hello there. Hi, Phil. So this is a gym. It is. Well, I've heard about these places. How exciting. Tell us about It's Fitness. It's Fitness. Uh, the idea is to offer something new. Um, it stands for Intelligent Training Systems. So rather than the average big box gym, we're trying to offer a whole load of new ideas for people to try open to any age, from the age of 16 all the way up to 70 pretty much. And we also have a family class as well for kids. So anybody can come along with any ability and have a go. And what's, what is the goal for some people? Is it just to get fit? Is it to be a bit more mobile? Or is it to actually be Schwarzenegger? No, it's, it's different for everyone. Um, some people will want to move better. Some people want us to help them with pain they've got in their joints. <laughs> You're describing me so far. <laughs> uh, yes, we do have younger people who want to do the body transformation. Mm -hmm. uh, but strength's really important for anybody at any age. In fact, it's more important the older you get. Well, I'm here because you know summer's around the corner and I've got a couple of tight little t-shirts that I need to fit in so you're going to give me a hand yeah. but uh, Mel's getting changed as I say and I think she's found two rather handsome chaps typical Mel to talk to well while Peter has gone to get his gym kit on I have grabbed two champions from this program and that is Doug and Brian now first of all guys tell me your ages both of you my name's Brian, I'm 56. You're 56? I'm 61. 61, and you guys weight lift every day, well, yeah. five nights a week. Yes, yep. So what, what got you into this in the first place then? For me, it was to lose weight. I was a retired businessman, uh, weighing nearly 17 stone, and I needed to lose, lose weight for my health. Um, and I'd never done free weights before, uh, but I knew Phil, and so I came along to see what, what you could do for me. Very good. Yeah. I've done a bit of weight training in the past, but I was working with kettlebells with the kettlebell club that Phil also runs. Right. And I heard about this, and I thought, oh yeah, I really want some of that. So. <laughs> and so, how long how long have you been doing it for now? We're in week so, eleven. We really eleven. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and what's what's been the biggest changes you've seen? I mean, have you got so much energy now during the day that you're not used to having? Have you lost weight? I've, I've lost a load of weight. I've lost over two stone now. I lost pretty impressive. stone and a half in the first six weeks, and uh, the rest has come off more slowly. But uh, I can move now. I can see parts of me that I couldn't yes. see before. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my toes. <laughs> <laughs> and how yes, part of that for me is losing weight, getting more in, in shape, and improving my strength as well. I've been really pleased with how much stronger I've got over yeah. these eleven weeks. It's uh, more than I expected. 
I think that's one of the big things, isn't it? You gain so much strength yeah. over. And 12 weeks isn't really a long time yeah. either. And do you think this is then something you guys, has it been like a bit of a lifestyle change? Are you going to carry this on after 12 weeks? Oh, definitely, definitely for me. Um, having to put so much work into getting that strong and, and this yeah. thing, well, it might look suited to me, <laughs> but uh, I need to keep it up, definitely. Yeah. Keep yeah. It up. Yeah, so. Diet's going to change and the way I exercise will definitely change. So this must be a massive confidence boost then. You could probably go into a gym and show most of the young ones how it's done. You walk in there and you know lift 65 you know, kilos straight off the back. 25 yeah. year old pretty boys are looking at you going, hang on a minute, yeah. is that right? Particularly <laughs> when if you go into your average gym and I'm really confident about my technique now and I look around the room and see how wrong people mm. doing things it's you dangerous. want to stop them but of course you know it's not your business to, to, to be just a smoke car. yeah you just, <laughs> and as you say yeah things. just smugly pick up more than they can <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the coolest kind of oh it's good yeah. absolutely now since uh, Peter and I are here today and um, Peter normally lifts cake rather than wings <laughs> you guys are definitely going to have to show him how it's done so let's make sure he is getting changed and um, warming up okay 97, 98, 99, woo, 100. Well done, you. Oh, I tell you, I'm exhausted just watching you there. Exhausted. Anne Marie, you look fantastic. Why are you here? Well, I met Phil about 15 months ago, and um, I tried, you know, I was doing kettlebells and enjoying the strength gain that I was getting from those. Um, we tried some primal move and then some Bulgarian bags. And right, then... so primal move Bulgarian <laughs> yeah. bags. It sounds a little strange to me. What, what does that mean? Well, primal move, um, I think you basically go back to almost being a child and you do roly polies, <laughs> you do crawl. <laughs> do you do do this? It, it, it's really good fun actually. Um, Bulgarian bags, you use these big bags, you swing them around your head. It's basically, that's, um, that's quite challenging, but uh -huh. it's good fun. Um, but when Phil introduced the Amazing 12, I knew that everything else that he's ever taught me has been um, technically spot on. Um, and I wanted to, one, increase my strength again if I could, and also as a side effect, lose some excess fat mm -hmm. <clears throat> so here I am so obviously there's a physical benefit but is there a mental benefit as well it definitely is yes it's made me much more stronger mentally um, I've uh, come through some difficult challenges lately and all of the strength training that I've done with Phil in the gym it's really helped with that kept me focused and definitely feel a lot stronger I would recommend this to anybody that's needs a little bit of help that way well, you look fantastic. I can see over there that I'm being summoned to do some weight. So, I'm swinging it. There you go, because you don't get to get a cup of here. You can lift the cup and uh, wish me luck. So young Phil, three exercises for our challenge. What are we going to do? Okay, three challenges are going to be the chin up. That's without your yeah. feet on the bench. Without the bench. We're going to no. do bench press, and we're going to have a go flipping a tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel ill already. Well, are you looking forward to this? Well, of course I am. So now, may the best woman win. Of course. Good luck. <laughs>
You said I'd come here and shift a tyre. I didn't think I'd mean I'd be shifting tyres. Well, I meant the one around Well, I is. thought that too as well, but I'm absolutely pooped. <laughs> but it's time to find out who the winner is, because you like well, a winner, don't you? Well, I think it's you? obvious. Young Phil, really. come and sit down. Now, before you tell us, because we're very excited, may I remind you, somebody's been coming to your gym for weeks and weeks and months and years, where I have just walked through the door. Fresh faced, not knowing anything. But then you also have to consider the amount of hard work gone into this session and body mass compared to other people. Exactly, and age as well, because some of us are slightly older, and the fact that I have a lovely bit of a mantelpiece that craves a sword at the moment. And I never win at anything on this show, Phil, oh, so yucky, yucky. you wouldn't want so to make girl cry. Tell us, <laughs> tell us who's the winner. Okay, in terms of strength, then I would say Mel won, but purely on artistic interpretation. Artistic? It goes That's to not... Hang <laughs> oh, no, on a minute. You haven't got artistic interpretation on the rules of the Amazing 12. I would like to thank the Academy for everything <laughs> I've won. So, uh, there you are, Bill. I am the winner. Join us yes. after the break, folks, when we find out what's free at the weekend and Mel sulks. <laughs> you ready? Not... Ah! 